What's up, family? This is Donovan Green, and welcome to the channel. Today, I have two emails that I'm going to read the emails, and I'm going to respond to these questions. And the reason why I'm doing this, every time I get emails that has um, questions or concerns about fitness, about health, I'm going to start to create these videos. Uh, forgive me ahead of time. These, th these are books. I'm looking at two of them. However, these are members from my website, from Donovan Green Fitness. If you're not a member, head on over to the website. It's $14.99 per month. I have to plug my business. That is my business. All right, so now, first email, Marty Malherbet. I probably, I probably destroyed a name. But it says, hello, I know this email is insanely long. I hope you will read it, and I hope you can help me. My name is Marty. I live in upstate New York, New York. Um, I hope you give me answers to my questions. Okay. I am 72 years young. The body is but not the mind. Due to very unstable weak left leg, my life has completely been sedentary since at least towards the end of the last year. I had several falls in August and then in November. Because I am obese at 275 pounds when I have fallen, I have not been able to get up on my own. I had to call 911 for help as it was too much for my husband. I use a walker in the house and a transport chair for any time I get the opportunity to go into the mall. The fear and chance of falling has been pretty big. I began physical therapy in January of 2023. I was able to do that for about three months to three days a week. The concentration was on strengthening my legs. It definitely helped me, but I had to stop because my insurance would no longer cover the visits. I got some equipment like a step platform and resistance bands to keep exercising at home. I have been able to do some of the same exercises that I did there at home. I know walking will help me. I might be able to do it at a, at a former small mall here. I'm checking into it. I'll use the walker, but we'll need to have the transport chair there too because there aren't places to sit down when I need to do that. I have weighed at least 100 pounds more. I lost the weight with medication and working with a specialist in New York City. I have not gained any back and I'm still working on it. So, why am I writing to you? My weight is staying the same, maybe up or down a few pounds, but nothing major. However, I now have enormous amount of fat on my hips, thighs, and butt that I've never had even when I was 100 pounds more. I discovered I was like that in January when I noticed how big my thighs were. I am mentally and physically sick about my condition considering how hard I've worked over many years to reach a healthy weight. I went online and many articles said my excess fat, which just hangs in the back and sticks out on the side, is because I've been completely sedentary for such a long time. I've spent most of every day sitting from morning until night. I've spent hours looking into it. This is a book, guys, I'm telling you. I normally don't read these books like this, just to give you all a heads up, but I'm reading this one. But I did my best. I could really feel it in my thighs. You were really great to work with. Um, I skipped something. I spent hours looking to it again. During one of my low moments, I went online and looked up exercises that I could do in a chair. Among them, I found some of yours. I did some of the workouts with you today for the first time. I did about three of them. I couldn't keep up with, the, with you all the time, but I did my best. I could really feel it in my thighs. You were really great to work with. So much better than trying on my own. My question, finally, is that with this much fat, like I've never seen on me ever, is it realistic for me to believe that I can reduce these areas by sticking with your videos? Am I over the fat limit? Too late, too far gone? I still have to sit a lot because my legs are still not strong enough to walk or stand a lot. I still try to stand more and more, more in my house. This problem has really done a number on my mental health stress and panic. Um, can your videos help this big of a problem? I know it will be hard and it will take a long time if you feel that you can help me. 
it's just hard to see the scale stay around the same while I'm surrounded with these many inches of fat all around me. I thank you for reading this and apologize for this length. You should apologize. This is a book. I should be charging you a lot of money for this. This is literally health coaching at its best. This is literally a book, okay? I have an appointment to rule out lipedema. I read up on that too, trying to find a reason for the change in my body. I hope it's not that because you can't lose that fat. I feel, I'm feeling fairly sure that it is due to putting on all of my weight on my butt and hips, thighs for so many months or more. I'm sorry to take this much of your time. I'm just praying for answers. Thank you very much. Well, Marty, that's why I'm gonna, that's why I had to read this email today. I'm gonna break the videos up into two. This is video one, because the other one is a book two, okay? So first of all, let's go into the age. The age is 72 years young, okay? Um, it says that she's a beast at 275 pounds. She fell, her husband could not pick her up. She was able to go to physical therapy and she did that three times a week, all right, for three months. Now, there's a part where it's said that she lost the weight. She took off at least 100 pounds. And here's the thing that I'm going to respond to. When she said that she started noticing the excess fat around her thighs and her butt area, keep in mind, right, when it comes to weight loss, you're always going to find something different when you accomplish one other goal. It's, it happens every time in life. It, 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 listen, if you see a spot on the floor and that spot is a dirt, some dust, and you're like, oh, I got to clean that up. You clean up that spot and you look around, you're going to naturally find more spots to clean up. It's a natural thing. When you try to build muscle, for example, you might, you might want to get a stronger chest or stronger arms. Now you get the stronger chest and you get the stronger arms. All of a sudden you notice that your stomach don't look that good because you are now looking at something different. You get your car fixed, something going on with your car. Maybe the car is ticking. You hear a tick sound. Now you're driving the car, you take it to the mechanic. The mechanic fixes the problem. Fuel, hold on. Fuel is water. The mechanic fixes the problem. So now you're driving, the tick is gone. But now you're hearing like a boom, 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 boom. What is that? So this is the same exact thing that's happening. It doesn't mean that that fat around the hip and the waist wasn't there before. It doesn't mean it wasn't there. It just means that you took off 100 pounds and then all of a sudden your brain is now seeing something different. So rather than celebrating the... Uh, the positivity, your brain is naturally running into the negative aspect. And that's what happens to so many people. I have ladies who have taken off more than 100 pounds and they still move around like they're still 100 pounds. They, they huff and puff like they're 100 pounds. They still sit and stand like they're 100 pounds. They fail to understand that they took off 100 pounds, that they are no longer that big individual that they claim to be, Okay. As far as me helping you, um, let me go through this real quick. So it says, you saw my videos and you want to know if my videos can help you. My videos can guide you. Anybody's videos can guide you. Can they help you? No, absolutely not. These videos that you see, these are tools. But at the end of the day, you have to be the one to help you. You have to be the one to commit to it because... You say that you, um, you want to go to the mall, you want to walk around, they don't have uh, places to sit down. Well, we live in a new age. You can buy, they have strong foldable chairs that's lightweight and they can hold your weight. They have chairs that's, that's heavy duty. You can utilize to sit when you need to sit, right? Um, my videos, you put, can your videos help this big of a problem? I heard your, your tone there, this big of a problem. I heard it, okay? Remove these labels from your body. You say your legs are not strong enough to walk or to stand a lot. How do you get, how do you get better? Start walking and standing a lot. It seems like you want to immediately sit down. Like there's a few times you talk about seats not being available where you go and you, it's like you want to sit down. No, you have to train your body to stand, okay? 
You have to train specific for your goals. Now, your goals is to maintain that weight and take that weight down. You say you did not gain any excess amount of weight. Your your um you maintain a pretty much you, between five to ten pounds from what I remember, but you know you're still just not feeling good. That is the part I want you to listen to. You're not feeling good. You're feeling stressed. Okay, you have this problem is working on your mental and it's putting you in a panic. When your body is stressed, you, your body's ability to lose any extra weight is going to go away. It's going to minimize. It's going to reduce itself because stress feeds on unhealthiness. And when you're unhealthy, you're just not focused enough. You see what I'm saying? So you have to find ways to eliminate the negativity and start to pay attention to all of the positive things that you've been doing. The program that you said you were doing in New York with that specialist, continue that program. No matter what it takes, find ways to get the money to continue that program because it sounds like that program is working for you. This is what you said. You said, I lost at least 100 pounds or more. I lost the weight with medication and working with a specialist in New York City. Now, the medication part, I'm not a fan of medication. Um, the same way I'm not a fan of steroids. I'm not a fan of things like that. However... If you find that that medication is working for you, just remember, medication all have side effects. So it cannot be something that is long term. See what I'm saying? It has to be something that you utilize to give yourself that boost. But then you have to really step your game up. My videos that I put out is to simply give you the guide, is to, is to show you what you can do, whether you're sitting down or you're standing up. It is not for me to answer if my videos can help you or not. It is for you to know the idea that any physical movement can help you. If I'm here and I'm just throwing punches, if I'm turning sideways, bending sideways, if I'm twisting, if I'm doing this with my head, if I'm standing and lifting my, my heels off the ground back and forth, guess what? That's burning calories. Every movement is burning calories. Movement is the medicine to your calorie burn, all right, along with your good nutrition, okay? So now, when you think about all this stuff, and I hear your pain, and I see that you reached out, and I took the time to read your entire journey, and I want to thank you for sharing that, for real, though, because most people is not going to read this. I, I told you, I don't really read these long books because I have so many more things to do and read each day, and this is why I, I encourage people to hire me as your coach. We could do a one-on-one -on -one sit down where you can connect with me in a phone call and you will hear me connect and I'll ask you certain questions and we'll come up with a plan that will keep you moving in the right direction. But this is why I'm making this video because I know that not everybody could afford the money I charge. So now all you have to do is go back to the day where you said that you fell and your husband could not pick you up. That should be an amazing booster, an amazing experience in in other words something to inspire and to mo in mo to motivate you to get this excess weight off your body not to be depressed not to be stressed out just remember that your husband could not move you and we don't want that happening again there's so many people who have died in their home because they couldn't get up no one was there to help and all it took was for them to practice 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 and i want you to practice i want you to even get on the floor when somebody's around you Find something steady. If you have to roll over, to, roll over to a piece of furniture, roll your body over to a piece of furniture. Use your hand. Use your upper body. Use your lower body to get up. This is what you have to do. Everybody who gets, who's afraid to go to the ground and can't get up, you're never going to be able to do that until you get into that specific training. All right? Specific training. Specific training. Say it again. Specific training. It's a hard word to say. Specific training, specific, sp 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 specific. <laughs> Don't say Pacific, specific. You can do it. And if any one of you watching this video is going through any of this, which I know that some of you are, that's why I'm making these videos, please understand that you have the right and the power to enhance your health. You just cannot live your life stressed out, depressed. You cannot live your life feeling down and discouraged, okay? Because I know you have a whole lot of questions, but deep inside, you know you have the answer. You know you have the answer. You said here, my weight is staying the same, maybe up or down a few pounds. That's a good thing. Most people 
that do weight loss programs, their weight does not stay the same. It doesn't go up or down a few pounds. It triples. It goes up a lot, 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 lot. So you're on the right path. Just remember, now, when you lose that, that weight around those thighs, it says, in January, when I noticed how big my thighs were, I'm mentally and physically sick about the condition, right? When you lose the thighs, I promise you, you're going to look in the back of your arms and you're going to say, oh my God, where did that come from in the back of my arms? You're going to also probably look on your calf muscles and say, oh, look at all that fat on my calf muscle, or I didn't know that I had that type of um, shape in my waistline. You're always going to find something. That's why fitness is a selfish and very greedy thing. It's, <laughs> it's greedy. We are greedy creatures. We want more and more and more and more, and we don't spend enough time celebrating the things to celebrate. Instead, our eyes, just, like I said earlier, we just keep on going back to the negative. Stop looking at the negative. All right? So that's it. That's my little 15-minute talk. I hope this helps you. Don't forget, if you're not a member to the website, head on over to the website. Become a member. All right? I'm doing these videos. I'm putting out at least three videos every week. That's 12 workouts every month that I have modifications. I'm showing how to use the chair. If I'm standing and doing a full workout, there's a little box that pops up, and I'm showing you how to modify. If I'm on the ground, I'm going to show you how to modify. So you, you have no excuses whatsoever. All right? Head on over to donovangreenfitness.com and become a member today. Hopefully this video helped you out somehow because I know I'm always ranting. I'm ranting. No, I'm not. I'm sharing for real. All right, don't forget, your body is just a body until you make it a temple. All right, Marty, thanks for leaving that book. Uh, you're awesome. Peace.